Here we are at the Cynical in Columbus, Ohio, where the Columbus Clappers will take on the Erie Eels in the Erie's third game this season in our last matchup here tonight on the SPL Network. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Darth. Let's get to know the rosters between the two teams here tonight. Zesh has been a suitcase this season. He has not stayed on the same team for more than a week. He started with the Royals. He went somewhere else, and now he's on the Erie Eels. And, I mean, next week he might be on another team. I, don't, I really don't know what's going on with this kid. But either way, he's playing tonight. T, Flaccid, and Zesh going to be on the ice for this one. Bay, not in the lobby. The Eels are also looking to pick up Jugi, but he's on a roster cooldown until, I believe, Tuesday or Wednesday. So right now, Erie Eels coming off a 12-4 victory over the Freeze. Clappers found themselves a victory over the Freeze as well here prior on the SPL Network. And uh, it was a tight game, 7-5 the final score all the way till the very end. Columbus kept their uh, their pace. They trailed the entire game and then pushed out at the very end third segment of the, uh, of the match. So uh, we'll see what happens. Both teams wanting to go, so I'm going to wrap up the pregame quickly, and uh, we'll get down there. Previous five between these two teams, Philadelphia Fantasy took out the Erie Eels earlier on this week, and uh, Columbus, they found their first victory earlier on tonight. But uh, with that being said, six parties are ready to rock, and six parties are ready to roll. So uh, we'll get this one down on the ice and uh, get it going. The boys are ready, and we'll see which team just wants it more. But, uh, yeah. It's going to be a good one. Erie Eels is going to be on the left side of your screen wearing the uh, very unreadable green. And the Columbus Clappers defend the right cage with the navy blue, as always. But as they battle it out, see where the shot goes wide of the cage. Brought down to the near side. Flaccid name on the ice is Bleh. Aaron chases after this one near side. T pops this one off the forehand. Back over to Zesh. Longtime Kota Cook star looking to take his talent elsewhere. As Rodeo back in pass out in front of the enemy cage. Not able to find a blue jersey to tuck it through. Zesh T shot wide of the cage. Panarin had the shot if it was on. I had full faith in that one. Nice save there by Rodeo off the, off the forehand release of T. Zesh fighting this one to get low. Panarin trying to do the same. Goes off T stick to the near side. T and Panarin both have a lot of history with each other playing on the same team I believe it was season four of SPL rebound they all both players I believe have played their handsome amount of games in the first version of Slapshot which was just called Slapshot um, but uh, they got a lot of they got a lot of history with each other uh, Panera or, uh, T never always wasn't always in the pro division but he was always around to uh, at least meet the uh, the opponents on the pub ice T with a back hit Zesh top side Looking to break this one down for the Erie Eels. Off the back end, Zesh goes over to Flaccid. Out in front, T with a swing, just a little bit ahead of it. Mate, or meets it with a shot. He finds a goal, and it's 1-0 Clappers. The first shot is a good one with 3.44 to go. Meatsale just takes it off the backhand, finds himself the red line, sets up shop, and Happy Gilmore's it away into infinity and beyond. T topside looks for revenge. Nice save by Panarin. Keeps that one wide of the net. Down in the corner. Looks to take this one down to the near side with 3.34 to go. Blasted playing the one here this game. Takes that cross ice pass away, finds his way to the near side over to Meat Sale. Meat Sale tries to finesse this one back over to Panarin. A very small two foot pass. Rodeo top side at the point, trying to wheel him, trying to deal him. Deflected wide by Zesh. Panarin here chases after it. Backhand pass Meat Sale down low along the enemy wall, trying to find that passing lane out to Panarin. But Flaccid, second try as well. Not able to get past him neither. Flaccid, just a demon, applies the pressure. Just head in the in the mud, just trying to get what he can. It's all gas, no brakes. Panera near side, Zesh tops him. Tries to get this one down towards the near side. Maybe the top side. I don't know what he's thinking. He's a man of many things, and none of them are readable. Meat sell, at least for me. Meat sell, down in the corner with 248. Goes off Flaccid. Flaccid for the Eels, looking to take this one down low as well. Off the forehand. Throws his one corner to corner near side out of the zone over to T. T, the captain of Erie, finds his way off the back side of Zesh. Zesh here picking it up. Going to take this one out towards the near side. Then to the top side. Zesh backhand shooting goes off meat sale. Panarin takes this one towards the top side. Zesh did end up meeting the Columbus Clappers with the St. Louis Royals in the play. -in. And uh, the Clappers, uh, they, they're the only team that took that tournament seriously. And they ended up with all three victories um, out of the three games that were played. So uh, there is a little bit of history down on the ice between Zesh and the Clappers, and so far the, the cards are falling the same way, but uh, that could very easily change. Panarin back at his own defensive end, looking towards the near side of the ice to get this one out of the zone. Goes off flaccid over to T. T down low, trying to get this one through the neutral. Meatsale, the back pass very dangerously, but he has confidence in his captain. 
Panarin, top side, Rodeo, backhand, goes off the end wall over to Meatsale. Meatsale keeps it going to the point. Oh, what a catch by Meatsale. Shot goes off Flaz and now to the neutral zone. Panarin corrals it. Backhand, forehand, stop by Flaz. It goes off Rodeo, off of T, over to Zesh, goes off Meatsale, down low in the eerie zone. He'll whip this one top side over to Flaz. It shot goes wide of the cage. Clappers on the defensive end. Panarin trying to get this one through. Finds Fl no, Flaccid. T. Flaccid again. Goes off meat sale and wide of the cage. T gets a piece of it, but not enough to send it on. Here's Panarin. Panarin for the Clappers. Has the one nothing lead. Looking to maintain it here with a minute 22 remaining here in the first period of action. Bank pass over to Rodeo. Goes off his back end. Off the forehand. Shooting. Ah, oh, what a save by Zesh. The first one they've made so far here tonight. Flaccid with a shot. Goes off Panarin. Panarin jives his way near side. Off his hip, finds a way to pinch it over to Rodeo. Out to the point, meat cell. Top side, forehand, shooting. No, oh, what a stop. Off the second try, Flaccid. The only award is save made in that collective commons. Here's Zesh with 60 to go. Backhand, pass to T. T with an empty net, hesitates. Shot saved away by Rodeo. T, back out into the wheelhouse, saved by meat sale. Here's Zesh. Goes off the stick of meat sale. Meat sale the red line, tries to find his home. Off the back end, top side, gets this one off the back end, goes off Flaccid, T, back to Flaccid, pass over to T, T with the back end, pass near side. Clappers have been playing a lot of six on six, so Meatsell hitting these shots from the neutral zone, not really phasing, uh, at least me, as uh, 6v6 has a much bigger rink. Flaccid goes off the near side, Meatsell tries to keep that one north, Flaccid has otherwise the same, Meatsell goes top side, Panarin here with 22 seconds remaining here in the first, one nothing, still our score, forehand shot scoring, Rodeo with a second goal of the match. Finds a way into the back of the twine. His first of tonight in the second for the Clappers. Rodeo able to notch two in the belt for the boys in blue. 18 seconds is all that remains here in the first hourglass here tonight. Will the Erie Eels have anything to talk about going into the intermission? Zashir off the back end. Tries to get past him. Shot goes wide. Near side. T looking for that wraparound. Shooting goes off Panarin. Goes in off of Zesh. And it's one to two. They found a way to just push against the wall until it started cracking. And Zesh with a backhand hook just hooks it enough to find its way into the back of the twine. Four seconds remaining, and that'll lead us into this first intermission with a 2-1 score. We might be in the cynical, but the Erie Eels looking to try to make it their own, but they still got some work to do. 2-1 to one our score. Columbus Clappers on top, four shots, two goals. Erie found five on the net, only one of them going in so far. Great takeaway ratio. Flaccid not giving the puck up once. On the other side of that coin, Panarin. Two saves out of the team's, what well, should be four. I don't know why the total isn't right there, but uh, we're going to pretend like it is and go with it. Um, why are the totals so weird? Yeah, I pulled the right stats. I don't, I don't know why the, I don't know why the math is weird. That's very strange. Huh, but this screen's fine. But five shots to four, the passing game, a very high passing game. 74 or 54 passes between both teams so far here tonight. And I'm sure we're going to see plenty more as, uh, as we take this one down on the ice here for the second period of action. But uh, Erie Eels playing a defensive-minded game. They're going to have to keep it up as we go into the second period. Six parties ready to rock, six parties ready to roll. And uh, we will be down on the ice as soon as the game launches the lobby. But uh, Erie Eels, three face-off wins. We'll see what they do on this one. Clappers right side in the blue. Eels left side in the green. The puck is dropped. The game is on. And the second period is underway. And Aaron takes possession. Top side goes off the wall. Now at the full 200 foot of ice. Here's Zesh hemming that one top side. Goes off Meat Sale. Meat Sale sandwich between T and Zesh on the far side wall. T tries to fight his way out from the weeds. Panarin has the possession. Will he keep it though? T's hot on his heels. The former teammates chasing after him. Aaron. Off the forehand, trying to get a way to break free. Nice shot, not able to find the lane though. Zesh plays with the fire, forehand pass, T off the back end. Nice shot, but it hits the post, flaccid. In go mode, six feet from the crease. But not able to find a way home. Rodeo tries to find a way to get body position. Zesh gets the better stick check out of the two. Here's flaccid with it now with one goal deficit, looking to equalize. Top side out of the reach of Zesh, down low to Panarin. Panarin here for taking it for the Clappers, near side. Nice stop by T, T off the back end, shooting, hits the side of the cage and wide it goes. Here's Panarin. Panarin at his own faceoff dot, looks to the near side. Cuts it over to Meat Sale. Meat Sale here with it now. Tries to get his way through the red line. Zesh not giving him anything easy. Panarin takes this one back on the far side. Off the forehand, just walks his way through for a picnic. A forehand shot goes off T and wide. Here's T with it now for the Erie Eels. Off the forehand, top side finds Zesh. Zesh with a forehand touch, but not able to get a pass. Meat Sale shooting wide of the cage. Nice stop there by T. 
T with 3.40 to go here in the middle chapter. Bank pass goes off Rodeo. Rodeo takes it away for the Clappers. Near side, Meatsell gets stick checked. They'll have to fight for it in the near side corner. It's T finds Zesh. Zesh here with it now. Pass over to T. T, forehand, back over to Zesh. Zesh tries to dangle his way back near side. T here off the forehand, tries to get it through Panarin. Easily not a feat that is easily accomplished. As Meatsell fights for it against Zesh. Zesh with a shot, goes off the, uh, the crowd out at the blue line. T goes off Mitzel. T down low, trying to find a forehand pass for Erie. Off the, the face of Panarin. Flaccid keeps it loose. Out to Flaccid. Forehand shooting. Goes off Mitzel. Down off the near side from his captain. T picks it back up. Rodeo stops it. Throws it out. And now when to exit the zone. And the Clappers will survive. Zesh here with a now. Just under three minutes remaining here in the second. 2-1 still our score. And the Clappers still on top. Panarin, top side. Finding its way off of Flaccid. Flaccid down low. Zesh stopped by Meat Sale. Meat Sale looks towards the top side, back out to the neutral zone. Panarin here taking up the mantle. The elects to play the physical game. T gets the puck back out to the point, but it's a little too hot for Zesh to handle. Back at the blue line. Zesh towards the top side of the ice. Elects to go to the near. Meat Sale there, hot on his heels, tries to force that fumble. Zesh staying in, in very calm terms with the puck on his stick. T to Zesh, back to T. Backhand pass finds Flaccid. Flaccid near side, backhand pass over to Zesh. Zesh top side, nice shot, better save there. Out at the top of his faceoff dots. Rodeo coming up big. And Aaron near side goes off the window, finds Mitzo down low from the corner, off the forehand, back in. Almost able to deke out Flaccid, but not able to do it. T chops it loose. Rodeo going to be the first man back in the club zone to take up the puck. Finds his way to Panarin. Panarin looking near side. mitzel has got a lot of elbow room to work with. Panarin tries the panhandle off the end of the cage. Mitzo backhand shot, misses the stick, goes off T. T back down low in his own defensive end. Cuts it across his own goal. Finds Zesh topside. Flaccid near side. Finds T. Shooting. Hits the post and that goes wide. Panarin to Meatsail. Meatsail. Forehand shot goes off Zesh. Rodeo there applies the pressure. Zesh forehand shot. Nice save. And a better ball. It goes off the backhand and wide. Oh, he had the takeaway. He had the positioning. He had the shot. But what he didn't have was, a, it was just a little stat line that starts with a gun and ends with all. One minute, 22 seconds to go, and a broken heart on the ice. The Clappers still hold the lead, but it could have been two. Flaccid cuts in, goes off his hip over to Zesh. Zesh with a shot blocked by Rodeo. Rodeo near side with a long distance lob would have not hit the net. Flaccid takes it away, forehand shot goes wide as well. Here's Panarin with it now. Down low in the defensive end off the backhand. Tries to get it through Zesh as he throws it off the forehand, hoping T was going to stay low. He does, 60 to go. T top side over to Flaccid, back downtown, trying to find his captain. Takes off the forehand, gets Rodeo to bite. Nothing there opens up. Out in front, back hit, shooting, almost able to run the gauntlet and pay off big. But the slot machine doesn't always play in favor of you sitting in the seat. T, beat sale. Goes off Rodeo and down low in favor of the Clappers. You're gonna have to break out here. Zesh topside finds T, T off the forehand. The Urials have played a fabulous passing game. Their rotation with the puck. Zesh shooting, scoring, and there's a direct product of the passing game. 28 seconds to go in the second. We're tied at two. Great passes from the Urials. Great shot by Zesh. And Panarin just had to sit back and look big and hope the puck hits him. But in the Pro Division, sometimes that's not enough. T trying to fake out Rodeo. Rodeo not giving him anything. He's not biting on nothing. He's not wasting a dash. He's just staying calm in his lane. And uh, that turnover coming out because of it. Limiting the options, suffocating the offense. That's what defense is all about. Zesh off the back end, near side, banks it off the boards over to T. T goes off Rodeo on that pass attempt, goes over to Zesh, back end, shot goes off Flaccid, and that one leaks out into the corner. Two to two at the end of two, here at the Seneca in Columbus, Ohio. This is the exact same form that we had against the Florida Freeze and the Columbus Clappers moments ago tonight. But we'll see what this third period has. Will it be in favor of blue? Will it be in favor of green? Zesh has the only two goals for the Erie Eels. Has the majority of possession time and the majority of saves. On the other side of that coin, Rodeo one, Meatsell one for the Columbus two. Panarin, three saves out of the team six. And those totals at the bottom of the screen. Some reason, they're just not right. We're back on the ice here for the third and final period of action. Clappers right side in the blue. Eels left side in the green. The puck is dropped in the final period of action. Tonight is underway. Classic peeling. Nice shot. Better save by Mitzel. T with a shot. Scores. And we have ourselves the difference on the board. The first shot wasn't good enough. T just sat out in front, waited the puck to come to him. And, uh, well, we got the difference. 3 2. 10 seconds. 9 seconds into the third. T pulling near side. Rodeo takes it away. Zesh here takes it right back. Forehand back in. Has the shot. Lynn does not take it. Wanting that pass over to T. 
Goes off Rodeo. Panarin goes off Rodeo once more. Top side and out of the zone. Here's Zesh with it now for the e Eels. Zesh back in. Down the straight. Rodeo waits for it. Goes off Flaccid. Forehand try by Mizzo. Not able to get the shot released in time. The puck was just a little bit slower than he anticipated. Zesh down low. Pass uh, Flaccid. Mizzo down low. Trying to get this one past T. T had the body position. He gave it up for Zesh. Zesh not able to get the forehand pass to reverse it. So the fight will continue. T from the hip, meets cell from the backhand. T gets it right back, down low in the Erie zone, gets past him, goes off me, Panarin's stick, goes over to Zesh. Zesh here for the Eels, looking to jive his way near side. Flaccid shooting off the side of the cage, and that one goes wide. Here's Panarin off the backhand, swinging a miss, goes off Flaccid. Flaccid off the backhand, hooks it over to T, just behind him. Not able to take that one out for a date. Zesh from the boards, Rodeo from the backhand, finds meets cell near side over to Panarin. Panarin, forehand pass, down past Rodeo. Rodeo reverses, returns the favor, out to the point, goes off, flaccid stick on the cut across, and he's going to score off the backhand. And it's 4-2 to two for Erie. Three minutes, 41 seconds to go. A great pickoff. And, hey, if it's open, you might as well shoot for it and hope you hit the moon. Because if you don't, uh, you, you, you hit the stars or something like that. Um, Dennis Miranda once said that one. Zesh keeping it low. Zesh towards that top side of the ice, off the back end. Rodeo there with a forehand shot, goes off. Zesh with a save. Mitzel there retaining possession for the boys in blue. This goes off the far side, shooting, scoring, and Zesh has a three-peat on the ice. The hats go out for the hat trick with 3.22 to work with here in the third period. The Clappers' hole to dig themselves out of has just gotten deeper. Aaron chipping this one top side. They got a deficit to make out. Aaron has the body position. Looking down to the near side, cuts the wheel. But Nadia would have hooked that one into Mitzel's back wallet. Off the end of the cage. Zesh here with it now. Zesh with three minutes to go. Flies it off the back end, goes off Rodeo and wide over to Panarin. Panarin looking to dangle his way out in front, goes off the back end, goes off Zesh's face over to Mitzel. Zesh takes it away, forehand, trying to find the wheel out to T. Off the hip, not the curve. T backhands that one back over to Flaccid. Nice save there by Rodeo. Goes over to Zesh. Zesh keeping possession for Erie. Backhand pass T. Pulling off the top side down. And that was a perfect straightforward shot with the net not quite there. It was a little bit to the right. Shooting. Nice save by Flaccid on the other end of the ice. Miso shooting. Hits the post and wide. Zesh awarded that save. And they'll stay alive. T with 2 minutes 28 seconds to burn on the hourglass tonight. The Erie Eels looking to get their second win of the season. Coming off a 12-4 victory over the Florida Freeze earlier tonight. See what they got. See if they can hold on. Panarin looking to nullify. Beautiful stick checking off the forehand. Finds his way near side. Rodeo with a shot. Goes top side over to Meatsale. Meatsale at the point. Trying to get this one back down low to Rodeo. Rodeo trying to get a few stick checks in there. T had a little bit of elbow room to work with. But not able to get the puck off the boards. The forehand's a deadly thing. You're stuck in your own defensive end. Your handness does matter, at least a little bit, in certain circumstances. Your side meets those forehand shot goes wide of the net. Almost able to find that bank out in front of the crease, but not quite enough gumption on it. Top side, Zesh, one to beat. Nice stop there by Panarin. Three on one. Off the near side, just barely wide of meat sale. Zesh, or uh, Flaccid, down low, looking towards that top side. Rodeo going off Zesh, backhand pass. Only T there to take it away. Forehand shot, and that's going to go in. Six to two. Long distance shots coming out big for Erie here in a game like this. 13 shots have hit the net. Six of them have gone in with a minute 31 to work with here in the third. It's a four goal difference. Rodeo to Panarin. Panarin stick checks it away. Flaz look for the backhand shot. Not able to get through the traffic cleanly. He's still there to apply that pressure. T off the backhand. Forehand sandwich between two Columbus players down low in his own defensive end. Panarin walks away with it. Panarin, off the near side. The, the server told him no. He wasn't allowed to pass it like that. T, down low in the offensive zone, looking for that backhand wraparound. Panarin there throws out a few stick checks, tries to force the fumble with 60 seconds to go and four goals to make up. They got they got to get something going. Zesh takes it away. Nice shot. Better save by Panarin and kept away by Meat Sale. Meat Sale here with the puck now, trying to start the breakout for the boys in blue. Goes off Rodeo. Zesh takes it away. Forehand back in, trying to find the dangle. Shooting, hits the post, goes off the near side. Meat Sale picks it up. Off the forehand, shot goes off Rodeo. Off of T. T with a forehand shot, goes wide of the cage. Here's Panarin for the Clappers to the near side. Looking for the passing lane down the straight. A stick check from T says no. Flash it here with an out with 30. Forehand pass goes off Meat Sale. Panarin. Panarin. Top side looking for Meat Sale with an area pass. 
Back over to Panarin, 20 seconds to go. Do they just want one more for Pryor? And they found it off the back end. Meat sale gives the boys some life. 19 seconds remain in this game. And the Clappers found themselves that third tally. Left, or uh, Flaccid goes off Rodeo, T. Trying to find his way off Zesh. Zesh near side, forehand shot goes wide of the cage. Top side, finding his way over to Flaccid. Flaccid forehand pass, not able to find a way to dish it into the hands of Zesh. But they got that one. I think they're happy. I think they're all right. I mean, they might not be happy, but they're way more content than what they would have had otherwise. But that's the end of the ball game. 6-3, the final score. The Clappers not quite able to find two notches to the wins column, but they found their first of the season. And hey, you play every team in the Pro Division two times, so we will see these two teams play again before the season is over. And right now, Clappers might need that. This second half of the season is going to be a rough one, but as long as you make playoffs, the teams that have that mentality, it doesn't matter if we're first, second, or if we're sixth place. As long as we make playoffs, we have a chance, and those teams, more times than not, will find themselves a bit of a victory and a little bit of a, a little bit of fortuitous bounces when it comes down to it. But uh, whether or not it's going to be the tail this season, uh, I guess we're just going to find out. Clappers 3, Erie 6. The shots were a little lopsided. The passes were as well. Almost 100 passes from the Erie side of the ice to move the puck well. And uh, I think the score reflects that. Zesh, Hattrick, T, two, go two points, two, four, point, four points, two goals on his eight shots. Didn't have the best turnover ratio, but uh, that's not the one that matters on the scoreboard. And then, of course, Flaccid, one goal, two points to end out the night here in uh in Columbus but uh Clappers played a great game Panarin once again playing his heart out on the defensive side a minute 34 with puck on his stick five saves out of the team's nine I did that math right um yeah Panarin had a rough game he had some uh he had some opposition on that back check and uh T flaccid they played this team this Clappers roster enough times to know how to dissect them and uh, that much was true here tonight. But with that being said, that's that's all I got for you here tonight. We had two games on the board. We got two games played. And uh, now it's bedtime, for me at least. But uh, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for watching some slap shot with me here this afternoon, this night. Um, we'll be back maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow starts the Sixes League. And hopefully I'm around to cast it. But uh, 9 o'clock, 9.30, those games will be happening. We got two 6v6 games. I'll have to pick from the pool and see what we got going on. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for all the support. Gubby, thank you for the 21 month resub. Let's go, Pan. That worked out for the first game. I, I'm going to give that one to Gubby. He, I think he pulled the most weight. But uh, on top of Gubby, thank you to all the big names in red Irvion, Eli, JS Tronics, former league admin Min Snoda, Gubby, former league admin M Dub, Unglued Snail, Manny, Q Silver, Cloudy, Dabo, and Renard. Appreciate you all immensely. But uh, that's going to do it. That's going to be it. That's all I got for you. And uh, hopefully we got more tomorrow. But if I don't cast tomorrow, I'll be dead. Ha <laughs> ha I don't know. That's from some movie. Anyway. Um, yeah. We should be back tomorrow. But I have no promises. I that don't don't hold me to that one. Um yeah, that's all I got for you here tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for watching the SPO Network. My name is Darth, and hopefully we'll see you all in the next broadcast. But with that being said, I hope you all have a great afternoon, a great evening, and a great night.